Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Zoom came out with a new update yesterday, which was October 26, 2020. It is Zoom version 5.4.0. A lot of new features. I'm only covering one today. It is the schedule with custom join before host time limit. Oh, that sounds like a lot of words. What that means is when you schedule a Zoom meeting, you can allow your participants to join before you do. You're the host. Well, the way it's worked in the past is if I schedule a meeting for next week and send out the invite, join before host, someone could join four days before the meeting started, which actually drove me crazy because I'd get an email reminder that somebody has joined my meeting. And I'm always like, why are you in the meeting now? So now you have the ability to still allow people to join before your meeting, but you can set a time limit of either five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, or which was the default anytime. So let's test it first. And then I'm gonna show you one setting. You must change in your settings in Zoom to get it to work. So here I go, meetings. I'm gonna do a meeting from the web first, scheduling from the web. Then I'll pop into Outlook and show you that it still works. I'm just going to schedule a meeting. I don't care about any of the details at the top here, except one. If the waiting room's on, people can't join before the host because they would go to the waiting room anyway. So I'm gonna turn that off. That's minor there, but here you go. Allow participants to join I told you any time was the default, but down five minutes, 10, 15, I'm going to do 15 for this one. I'm going to save this meeting. So I just created and scheduled a meeting, 15 minutes people can join. The reason I'm allowed to do that is I went, after I signed in, I went to settings. So this is, I had to go find this. Over here is schedule meetings. If you don't see schedule meetings, just scroll down. But right there below telephone and computer audio, allow participants to join before host. What's interesting is the default for this, if I hit reset, reset means put this back to the default. The default is this is turned off for me. So one, I had to enable it. Two, I check this box here. Now, just because I checked that box and I put five, 10 or 15 minutes and hit save, which I'm going to do the next meeting I schedule, if I want people to join only five minutes before I can do that. So you're not tied in to whatever minutes you pick. I'm going to hit save. I'm getting over cold by the way. So sorry about my voice, but so let's test this. Now we know this works from zoom web scheduling. I'm going to pull up my Outlook calendar. I have the Zoom plugin loaded. Schedule a meeting, schedule. So I pulled it right up here, Zoom schedule meeting. I don't care about the other stuff. Here I go again. No waiting room. Uh, here we go under advanced options. When I click on advanced options, there it is. Enable, join before host. I do want to use it. Can I tweak the number of minutes? Absolutely no problem. Click on save and the body of the email gets populated with the message. So now if someone joins prior to that time limit that you set, they get a message because I tested this. They'll just get a nice message that this me meeting starts on. It'll have the date and the time. So it will not allow them to pop into your meeting prior to that time limit that you set. Really, really cool feature. I like that one. If you have any questions about this video or any Zoom questions, please put them in the comments below. This video will also have chapters down below. I'll discuss the web scheduling, turning on the settings in the web, and doing this from Outlook. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe. Have a wonderful day.